under the bright lights and booming roar. University of Miami fans know who they're here to see. Hannah and Haley Cavender, twins, ballers, social media superstars. They're not just known for having some serious game, but also they're following online. Almost 5 million between the two of them on TikTok. But you're not here for a story about a couple of amateur athletes. What makes this story different is that for the first time ever, student athletes like these two are now making millions of dollars. You guys mind walking me through some of your endorsements? We'd love to just get like get a rundown. Here are our favorite gifts from Champ Sports. We're Champs athletes. Then we have WWE, Life Wallet, Cigarette, Racing, and then we also have a company called Baseline, which is college streetwear. We have equity in that. The Cavender twins are a social media and marketing sensation. They have millions of followers. They have deals with major advertisers. We are teaming up with TurboTax. And all the while, they have this incredible ability to just be themselves. They were athletes who had done a really nice job of growing a following before NIL. So those who already had large followings on Instagram or TikTok prior to July 1st were able to capitalize. It's my turn now. Go for it. They are the definition of using NIL to be an entrepreneur. In many ways, they're like the Kardashians of college sports. Everybody wants to know about them. On3, which estimates NIL earnings for athletics, says the twins are pulling in more than $1.6 million a year, cashing in alongside other student stars, like LeBron James' son, high school baller Bronny James, Peyton and Eli Manning's nephew, quarterback Arch Manning, and social media megastar gymnast Olivia Dunn. And it's all because of three letters, N-I-L. Name, image, and likeness. The three magic words that have upended the landscape of college sports as we've known it. After decades of being prevented from making money before becoming professionals and being punished if they did. In June 2021, the Supreme Court ruled that amateur athletes can now get paid, leveraging their personal brands and social media following for profit and cashing in. Two years ago, making 10 bucks was a problem. Now, kids could make $2 million, $5 million, and you're not even gonna blink an eye. And I, I keep saying, we're just getting started. Has this changed your life? Yes. Yes, 100%. But what exactly is NIL? And what does it mean for college sports? It's just the ability to make money through a number of different means, social media, marketing, signing autographs, creating your own merchandise. When the Supreme Court handed down that decision, it changed everything. And it's important for people to understand, this is not the school paying athletes to play. That's not it. Right. What it is is, it's the kids, the student athletes, being able to go out and say, hey, I'm willing to lend my name to this particular product, and you can sell it, and you pay me for that. NIL may have opened up the floodgates for student athletes to profit off themselves, but it's also opened up a debate. NBA Hall of Famer Charles Barkley coming out against NIL on 60 Minutes. It's a travesty and a disgrace. We can't pay all these players. And on Wednesday, the potential impact of NIL was being discussed in the halls of Congress. NIL is here to stay, and I believe that co college athletes should be able to get paid as much as legally possible. Without a clear and consistent set of rules in place, the entire ecosystem is disrupted, and important elements of the educational experience are decimated. Now you might ask, why is such a big deal being made about amateur athletics? So everyone at the college level is currently able to do NIL deals. Mm -hmm. Where it's messy now is at the high school level um, because that's not allowed in every state. Now the NCAA can make all the rules it wants, but the NCAA doesn't have control over society. Congress makes the laws. The way the Supreme Court ruling worked was, hey, nobody can restrict kids from doing this. So it would follow that that would be the same for high schools, elementary schools, whoever. What does this all mean for future athletes who now in high school and younger can strike NIL deals? When did you first realize that you could make money doing this at a school level? It was 
one practice and I came in, I read on Instagram, it was like a, t a tweet or like a post to ask my coach, it's like, uh, what's that about? Like, I thought that's not like legal or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, no, they actually uh, making NIL legal. And then that's when they got into the whole thing of NIL and explained it to me mm -hmm. what it was about to be like in high school. John Well, Boogie Fland is just 16, but he's already one of the top prep stars in the country. Yeah. How'd you get the name Boogie? Uh, so, when I was young, like four or five, mm. we would have parties and cookouts. <laughs> Whenever a song came on, I was the first one to the dance floor. <laughs> you know, I was just the life of the party. And now it's Fland. He's feeling it, and he buries it. His on-the-court highlights have led to off-the-court success, too. Pulling in big deals for his name. And Archbishop Stepanak has won. Image and likeness. Does it see my package from Under Armour? It's called the Carnival Pack. Comes with a fire tee. John Wolf Land. Boogie. Also from the Bronx. Relentless. Student of the game. How much do you think you've raked in until this point? As far as what? What do you mean? NIL money. Uh, like total. Right? I couldn't even tell you. We talking Lambo money. We talking <laughs> Prius money. <laughs> I want to say six figures or so. Six figures? Yeah. What does that mean to you and your family given where you came from? I mean, it was big. Uh, it changed my family. It changed the way we looked at things, you know. Uh, you know, being from the Bronx, we weren't, weren't that wealthy, you know. Mm -hmm. It definitely changed my life, I'll tell you that. Our thanks to Ashen. You can watch the entire episode of Cashing In on Impact by Nightline now streaming on Hulu. New episodes drop every Thursday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.